The components required for this experiment are Shavo ESP32 C6 board, MQ135 sensor, DHT11 sensor, LCD display, I2C converter, breadboard, connecting cable and connecting wires. Now log into the Blink.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template and give the template name. Air Quality Monitor. And select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. And click on the Run button. Now go to Data Streams. And here click New Data Stream and select Virtual Pin. Here create the first data stream as Temperature and select the pin as V0, data type as double and maximum value as 100 and select the unit as Celsius and click on the create button. Now create the second data stream as humidity. Again click new data stream and select virtual pin and here enter the name as humidity and select the pin number as V1 data type as double and maximum value as 100. Here give the unit as percentage and click on the create button. Now the third one again go to new data stream select virtual pin. So this is air quality and here the pin is V2 data type is double and select the maximum value as 4000. Here unit, select the unit as ppm parts per million and click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag 3 gauge widgets. Now go to the settings of the first gauge and here choose the data stream as temperature. If you want we can change this color and click on the save button. Now go to the gauge settings of the second one. Here choose the data stream as humidity and click save button. Now the final one. Here also go to settings, choose the data stream as air quality and click on the save button. Now go to events and notifications and here we need to create a new event. Click create event button. Here give the event name as pollution underscore alert. So in the program we mentioned the name as pollution underscore alert. We need to give the same name. And give the description as bad air. And here change the limit to one second, enable this show event in notifications section of the mobile app and also enable this button for send event to timeline. Now go to notifications menu, click enable notifications. Here select email to device owner and also push notifications to device owner and also enable this deliver push notifications as alert. We will also get the alert message. And also we need to enable the notifications management. Now click on the create button. Now click the save button and save the template. Now go to devices. Here click new device and then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Air quality monitoring. 
then click on the create button now we got the template id template name and authentication token copy this and paste in our program then go to this drop down here the port is already selected select this port now here select other board and port and here we are using shavo esp 32 c6 so search for that board so this is our board select that and select the port and click ok button now click this arrow button and upload the program to the board now the program is successfully uploaded to the shavo esp 32 c6 board now we can set up the blink mobile dashboard for that download the blink iot application from the play store once you open the application we can see the template which we created in the blink web dashboard now open the template go to settings click the plus icon from the bottom now here we need to add three gauge widgets Now click on the first gauge, here choose the data stream as temperature, go to design and give the title and now go back, now click the second gauge, here choose the data stream as humidity and give the same in the title, now go back, now click the final gauge, here choose the data stream as air quality, go to design and give the same title. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.